In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your credit report using Credit Karma from TransUnion and Equifax. And you may have done this before, but the process has changed recently. So uh, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end um, where we get to the print portion of this because that piece has definitely changed and you wanna make sure you know how to do this. So when you first log into Credit Karma, you're gonna see a dashboard very similar to this. There's always a lot of uh, miscellaneous stuff and offers. Um, you can ignore all of that. All you need to do is go over to the overview tab, hover on it, and the drop down you'll see score details. So click on score details. And then it gives you two options, TransUnion or Equifax. Now you have to do both, so it doesn't matter which one you start with, TransUnion is the default. So let's go ahead and do TransUnion first. So uh, you scroll down slightly and you'll see view credit reports. So we're gonna click there. Now that will bring up your report and what we wanna do is print it. So you're gonna click on print. So normally in the past, there has been a button that you could click on that allows you to print from this screen. Unfortunately, that option is no longer available. And the way that you print is going to depend a little bit upon the kind of computer you're using and the browser that you're using. Some computers, um, HP type computers, PCs, uh, will allow you to use a control P function on your keyboard. Um, and that will allow you to print. Um, but what I would recommend you try first, and this will work um, on a Mac, I've tested it on several browsers. It may work on your computer. Here's the thing to do. Up at the top, you're gonna see a list, file, edit, view, history. Click on file and you'll get a drop down. Click on print. When you do that, the print box appears. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are saving as a PDF. Um, now your print box may look a little bit different than this one, but nonetheless, you still have to save this document as a PDF because you're not actually going to print it. You're going to save it to your computer and then email it to dedicated credit repair. If you want to print a report, you can for your own purposes, um, but we just need you to save it and then email it. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna save it as a PDF. Down at the bottom, you'll see save. Now, this is very important. When you go to save your credit report, you have to remember where you're saving it. Now, on my computer, I happen to have a, a folder called downloads. And so I typically save things there when I download them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on downloads. And then up at the top here, you have the option to save uh, or to change the name of this credit report. So what I would highly recommend is that you type the title, let's call this TransUnion, and we're gonna put the date. Today is September 23rd. And the reason why you wanna put the date in the title is because you're going to have to do this multiple times uh, throughout the credit repair process. And so it'll be much easier for you to find these reports if they have the date on them, because you're always gonna wanna send the most recent one over to um, our office at Dedicated Credit Repair. So we're just gonna call this TransUnion September 23rd, and then we're gonna hit save. Okay, now once that's done, we're gonna go back And now we're gonna do the same thing for Equifax. View credit report, print report. And now file, print. Save as a PDF. We're going to save it to downloads. We're going to call this one Equifax, September 23rd, save. Now, if I open up my downloads folder, you will see um, the top two things there, TransUnion, September 23rd, Equifax, September 23rd. You'll just take those two files, 
attach them to an email, send them over to dedicated credit repair. If they're big files, so for instance, these files are two megabytes and 1.7 megabytes, those are actually fairly large files. So you probably will need to send them separately. Um, if you try to send them both in the same email, it could, um, your email server could reject the email uh, simply because the attachments are so big. So if you're not sure, just be on the safe side and send them each separately in an email. And contact our office if you have questions about this. Thanks.